The collection and separation of recyclable material from the waste stream is a common activity throughout the world. It is not only a sign of the overconsumption and wastefulness in our society, but it highlights the extreme disparity in wealth and social conditions. Despite the valuable contribution this sector provides to the environment and community, they are often faced with harassment, prejudice and disempowerment. Many work independently or in small groups of families, earning barely enough income to survive. Grassroots cooperative movements around the world are challenging this paradigm. Since 2005, independent recycling groups from all over the world have started to organize themselves into a social movement. At the beginning, the gatherings were on the national level, for example in Brazil through the annual festival of waste and citizenship, and later at the South American level, and more recently in 2007 at the international level. The recyclers' movements is one of the most important emerging social movements, particularly in Latin America. Approaches such as participatory capacity development can significantly strengthen the organization and network of recycling groups, supporting the creation and strengthening of cooperatives, ultimately improving working conditions, increasing income and safeguarding livelihoods. Experiences from around the world have shown that collaborating with the government and the rest of community can lead to the local creation of integrated solutions addressing contentious socioeconomic and environmental challenges. Cooperatives provide a valuable bridge for this dialogue. We are our own vehicles, dragging our feet and these bags on the streets. Vamos. Coleta seletiva! The selective collection here at Vila Lidia, as the other door to door collection follows a rule, similar to Vila Popular, we involve the community, youth, and apprentice teenagers to help us in this process. So, before we do the door-to-door, -door, we ask permission from the people and involve the community in this process. Government support, such as including recycling cooperatives in the Municipal Waste Management Program, has contributed significantly to empowering catadores, validating the important environmental service they provide, and contributing to better communities. Initiatives such as the Vida Limpa Program in Diadema a door-to-door -door selective collection scheme highlights successful co-management opportunities for reducing poverty, social exclusion, and environmental degradation. Strengthening the relationship and network between recyclers and residents helps to validate their work, empowers them, and facilitates environmental stewardship. Selective waste collection leads to higher yields and better quality of material to sell to industry, resulting in higher returns for the cooperatives. Materials that come separated from the household level are also less contaminated, resulting in fewer health risks at the cooperative. My name is Niazi. I am from Alvarenga Landfill. I used to work in the landfill, then Dalva from the city administration came along and told us that they would build a depot, a space for us to work, and they did it. But before this actually happened, we had to go through a process. We had to take courses over a period of five years with Sabre and USP, and only then we could come to work here. Nowadays I work here. It has been seven years since I started. It has changed a lot in my life. Before at the landfill, I used to work under rain and sunshine and did not have lunch breaks. I used to eat whatever I found in the garbage. I wasn't used to washing my hands. Now, here I do so. I wash my hands before eating. When it is time to go home, I am clean. Beautiful, of course. It has improved 100% since I was at the landfill. Through networking and strengthening of the cooperatives, innovative business opportunities become possible. In the city of Maua, for example, recovered pop bottles are being converted into washing line and sold in supermarkets. The experience has contributed to providing additional income and partners for the cooperative, 
as well as the added benefits of reusing the recyclable material with minimal processing. The organization and network of recyclers has now reached a global scale with the first International Congress of Catadores held in Bogota, Colombia in March of 2008. The final declaration produced during this Congress highlights the point that first of all, harassment and stigmatization are the major problem recyclers throughout the world are suffering. And second, there needs to be the organization to overcome this challenge. The gathering has strengthened and empowered the Catadores movement worldwide. I don't think the waste ends. People consume so much, it is so exaggerated and so unnecessary, and the worst is that people don't think. I believe everyone, everywhere in the world, produces waste, and people just put their garbage outside their doors, and then the collectors come, pick it up, and then it disappears. You understand? They think it evaporates, they think it will not occupy space, and that it will decompose in the environment. So I think that before people consume, they should think about recycling as well.